have any quality with the initial condition that we're trying to prove out here and this probably should be greater than or equal to zero right here I don't know how much difference it really makes it looks like it would be true but but in any event we have an initial condition and we're trying to establish this inequality now this useful fact which I never would have discovered I don't know why it's really useful I just I looked at the solution and it turns out that it's very very helpful to, to uh, use this result right here and, and again, I would have never dreamt it up, but there's a, a well-known result called the AMGM, the Arithmetic Mean Geometric Mean Inequality, and this result follows from that. Let's go ahead and go through that. It, the, the proof of this using the AMGM would go something like this. Um, a squared plus the square root of A uh, plus the square root of A over 3. Okay. And this is a, a pretty fundamental inequality that relates addition to multiplication, you know, and that's it's important. Um, so this is going to be greater than or equal to the cubed root of the product of those three sum ends. So we're going to have the cubed root of uh, a squared uh, times the square root of a times the square root of a. Like that folks and you you'll I'm sure you'll notice that what's inside there ends up just being a cubed this would be a squared a to the one half a to the one half so that would be a cubed and so when you square or when you take the cube root of a cubed you just get a back okay and when you multiply by three you get this result right so this this AMGM and again folks this is called the arithmetic mean we'll abbreviate it Arithmetic mean, geometric mean. And the word arithmetic is, uh, arithmetic is often associated with a, addition. Geometric is often associated with uh, multiplication. But arithmetic mean, geometric mean, it's a very popular competition, IMO sort of uh, inequality that gets used, okay? So anyway, now that we have this, the rest of it's fairly straightforward. We actually use this result three times, three times for the variables in the problem x, y, and z, and we get this statement here. And again, what we did, folks, literally is created this inequality three times with the variables x, y, and z, and then just uh, added them up, which is a property of inequalities, and we get this statement here, okay? Now, so uh, the very next line, we mysteriously change this to x plus y plus z quantity squared. And sometimes the hardest part is just working with what you're given with. Notice that x plus y plus z is given to be 3, right? x plus y plus z is given to be 3. And so that, that explains why this becomes x plus y plus z quantity squared. This is, this is literally 3 squared right here, but we're keeping it in variable form, okay? Again, this would be 3 right here, right? 3 times 3 is 3 squared, but we're leaving it in the form x plus y plus z and that's useful okay now the last step here really is doing nothing more than expanding this out when you expand out this trinomial you get two copies of, of these uh, uh, types of they're called elementary symmetric polynomials you get two copies of x y plus y z plus z x and that's pretty easy to see when if you just take a look at this there would be nine uh, sum ends, uh, there would be nine, uh, yeah, I guess sum ends, not sum ends, but terms. If you expand out a trinomial squared, that results in nine terms. And notice you do have nine terms here, one, two, three, and then six more is going to be nine terms, okay? It's just that uh, they're, 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 they're uh, like terms also, okay? But you can see that the result follows immediately, folks, because the uh, x squared plus y squared plus z squared is on both sides, right? So uh, that will cancel. And if you divide by 2, you get our result, square root of x uh, plus square root of y plus square root of z is greater than um, the sum, greater than or equal to the sum xy uh, plus yz plus zx.
Y'all know, make the Z look that way just to avoid it looking like a two, put a little slash through there. Otherwise, there would be some ambiguity between that and uh, two, perhaps. So that's Z X right there. Okay. And folks, so that proves it. Uh, we can write down QED right now. We have demonstrated it's true, and it's basically uh, three applications of uh, the AMGM inequality and just this algebra step we did at the very end. Uh, this piece right here, noticing that x plus y plus z quantity squared is just equal to this, and you get some nice cancellation, and you get the result that was sought. Thank you for viewing.